and I'm hoping that it's just going to spark a few little thoughts in your head. So I was seeing this lovely, lovely dog and a really dedicated owner who adored the dog. She was with the dog during the week on her own. Her husband was away during the week, only home at the weekends. And she would make sure that her dog had everything she thought that the dog needed. And that included letting the dog have a lay-in. So she thought the right thing to do with her elderly arthritic dog was to just let her sleep as much as she wanted and get up when she needed. Now, that is true. We must make sure dogs have adequate sleep. However, if they have mobility problems and they are quite stiff on rising, there could be an element of them saying, oh, I don't really want to get up because I know it's going to be a bit stiff, a bit sore, so I'll just sleep a bit longer. What we did is we encouraged her up first thing in the morning. So as soon as the owner got up, she got herself a cup of coffee, she took a handful of the dog food, she got the dog out of the bed, into the garden, moving around, and the dog started loosening up and would end up having a better day because of that. So rather than letting her dog stay in bed, stay um, still, stay stiff, she encouraged the dog up and out of the bed first thing in the morning with the help of some of her um, daily food allowance and got her moving around the garden and that started loosening everything up, all the fascia started loosening up, all the muscle tension started to decrease, the joints started to get a little bit of lubrication, get some movement back and for the rest of the day the dog was a bit more comfortable. So think about just adding that into your daily strategy and see what influence that can have.